hello friends welcome to electronic circuit hub so today i'll talk about the design and simulation of linear regulator using alta spice i'll explain how this circuit works and how you can design your own linear regulator by using some discrete components like transistor Gina diode and register i'll explain also explain the how this circuit maintains the output regulation okay how how this circuit maintains the regulation and later i'll run the simulation and i'll show you the effect of line regulation and the effect of load regulation okay so let us first understand how you can design this circuit and how this circuit works our design requirement is v in equals to 24 volt and the v out equals to 12 volt okay so i want to design a linear regulator which converts 24 volt input to 12 volt output and if you look at this point i have connected the load resistance i'll show you the load current value later in the simulation so now if you if you see at the input so this v1 is the voltage source and uh, it goes to here and if you look at the the q1 this is sometime called series pass transistor okay this q1 is npn transistor bc547c and if you look at the driving of this q1 i have connected one resistance r1 and the current flowing through this r1 resistance is ir1 okay and at this point if you look at your current ir1 divides in two parts that is ib base current for q1 and that is ic the collector current for q2 so you can say that your ir1 equals to ib plus ic okay your ir1 equals to current flowing through this resistance equal to the base current of q1 and the collector current of q2 and if you look at the emitter here at q2 i have connected one gener diode okay and i have biased this gener diode by using the resistance r2 r2 equals to 10k and it is directly connected to the to the input voltage okay so this is all about at this side and let us now understand the output side of linear regulator and if you look at here this is the load resistance and if you look at this r3 and r4 this r3 and r4 are the feedback resistance which maintains the output regulation okay so this selection of this these two resistance is very important and very critical if you don't select this resistance properly you will not able to meet your output voltage regulation your output is your output won't be constant and in order to do that output to be constant you have to select the value of r3 and r4 very precise okay i would say and uh, you can also select that very less tolerance resistance value so that you will see very less fluctuation here okay and if you calculate the voltage at this point at this junction so let us say the voltage at this junction is what the voltage at this junction is depends on the gain of this circuit gain of r3 and r4 and the v out okay so if you want to calculate the voltage here you can easily calculate so that is v out multiply by r4 v out multiply by r4 divide by r3 plus r4 you will get the voltage here okay so this is the voltage at this point which is dependent on the gain of this circuit r3 and r4 and the output voltage okay and this here if you if you look at here the the d1 is gener diode for this simulation purpose i have used 6.2 volt gener diode and this is the fixed value let us now understand how you will maintain the output regulation 
so before i explain the output regulation let me also explain how will you decide the how will you calculate the value of r3 and r4 so if you look at this point this is the at this point you have 6.2 volt when generator goes in the breakdown so your emitter is at 6.2 volt and base to emitter voltage is 0.7 volt and if you look at the voltage here with respect to ground you will see 6.9 volt 6.9 volt so that is what i am doing here while calculating the resistance value r3 and r4 so i know that the voltage at this junction is 6.9 volt here and if you know the voltage at this junction is 6.9 volt you can fix the resistance of r4 that is 10k and by changing tuning the value of r3 you will get the you will get the voltage here at 6.9 volt it's very easy to calculate the value of r3 and r4 okay so so whenever the voltage across the base of this q2 increases to 6.9 volt then only this q2 conducts okay so now let us understand the regulation part how this linear regulator regulates the output voltage okay so let's say in for any instance either the change in the input voltage in spite of 24 you are giving 30 volt or there is a change in the output load current in spite of the desired current it is coming more or coming less you are drawing less current or you are drawing more current and so what happens is let's say your output voltage is 12 volt everything is fine so for any instance if your output voltage is greater than 12 volt so what will happens if your output voltage is greater than 12 volt since the voltage at the base of q2 it depends on the output voltage v out so you will see here the base voltage also increases if the base voltage if the base voltage of q2 increases you will see the collector current increases okay so this current flowing through this q2 will be increasing so what happens if you know this balance equation ir1 equals to ib plus ic if your ic is your ib will be reducing okay to maintain this ir1 value so once you, if your ic is increasing your ib will be reducing and if your ib will be reducing the voltage across this q1 that is called vc1 will be increasing and this if this voltage is is increasing you can apply the kvl from v in to here v in like this vc and v out you will see you will see here you will have v out in spite of let's say 13 volt now you started getting again 12 volt well, let me explain once again if if v out is greater than 12 volt let's say 13 or 14 volt you will see the higher voltage at the base of q2 because of this relation a into gain into v out if your v out is increasing the voltage at vb will be also increasing and if the vb is increasing your collector current is increasing and if your collector current is increasing your base current will be decreasing and since your base current is decreasing the voltage across this transistor q1 vce will be increasing and that is how it maintains the output regulation okay and that is the same same for if your v out let's say v out is 13 volt or v out is 11 volt the same same behavior happens if let's let's say your v out is less than 12 volt so you will see the less ib current here if the less ib current here you will see here the less ic current. if you see less ic current here that means your ib is increasing and if your ib is increasing that means your vc is decreasing and if your vc is decreasing that means your v out is increasing that is how this circuit maintains the 
output regulation now let me run the simulation and let me show you the regulation part so so go at run button click on the run button and uh, tile window vertically okay so this is your input voltage and if you look at here what I am doing here is I am changing my input voltage from 15 volt to 30 volt and let us see let us see what happens to your output so I'll click here and if you look at this point okay let me change to some other color right so if you look at let me change to red so this red is your output voltage and if you if you can see here your input is changing from 15 volt to 30 volt even then your output is fixed can you see guys your output is fixed it is not changing much your output is fixed to 12 volt in spite of changing your input voltage and, and now let me sh show you the the load current and if you look at this point what I, I have done is I have done RL variable so you can see the different value of load current starting from maybe 1 milliampere to 12 milliampere and you are changing here your load current and if you look at your output you see so let me change this to some other color uh, maybe red okay let me change to this some other color maybe blue okay so what you can see here your v out is this in the blue and your red is the current okay so you are changing your load current from 1 milliampere to 12 milliampere but what you can see here how much is the change in your output voltage and if you look at this point at lower it's coming 11.96 volt and if you look at this point it is coming 12.24 so you can see here it's only 250 millivolt variation even even you are changing your load current from 1 milliampere to 12 milliampere and you can see that is how this circuit regulating your output voltage constant you are changing your load current but it's still but it's still your output voltage is very constant and it is changing only the 250 millivolt okay so i hope guys you have understood the concept of linear regulator how this circuit works how you can design in alta spice and how you can see the different line and uh, output regulation or load regulation if you have any further question feel free to ask me in comment section thanks for watching this video